congruent between the two sides. They have to both be there. And that finally got up. So what I'm trying to say is like, yeah, the, the angle over here is between the two sides. Um, so this one is like none. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, so this one here, sometimes they don't give you all the information. Um, like in this problem here, all you have right now is a side and an angle, side and an angle. So when I get, when you make this list, It's kind of like everything else in math. The more you write it down, the more you'll have a chance of remembering it. Um, the options here are only, you're either looking at side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side. Problem is you don't have any of those that are noted there. So the next thing you look for are shared sides. Shared sides. the like the in the middle side it's there yes so that that's the second side so what is the correct answer there uh side angle side this side angle side All right. So this one's kind of the same as the previous one. You have um, you have uh, two sides, okay. which means it could be side, 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 or it could be side, angle, side. There is no ASS, okay? So that's not allowed, uh, although it's fun to say and ask your teacher. Um, but here, you can't just say, well, they look the same. That's a dangerous assumption. Um, is there an angle that's congruent? And if so, why? Why is the angle congruent in this picture? The, it's just like the, 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 the parts where the, the, the tips of the triangles touch, that's, they are, congruent angles because of the vertical something. Vertical angles, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So, okay, so now you got a side, an angle, and a side, a side, an angle, and a side. Therefore, it must be which theorem? Uh, side, angle, side. Sass. Good old sass. All right. Uh, so for the next two, five and six, I'd like you to look at those on your own and tell me what you think they are. We've covered enough that you should be able to answer those two. Um, but uh, take a look at that. Let me know what you come up with for number, for number five. It's looking like um, the side side angle. Right. Tell me what angle is congruent. And remember, there's no, you know, SSA or ASS. But what angle are you seeing congruent? The like the down the middle one, just like. Um, the shared side thing yeah, that, has... so that's a side that's a side not an angle oh all right so we got to be careful there uh with that 
Okay, oh, so, so now, side, now, side, you, now side, 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 side. All right, good. Number six. That's a side angle side. It is side angle side. Sass. Well, sass. sass. Yeah. Right. Um, the next one here, number seven. Let me snip this in. Number seven here. These angles are congruent. So you might think, well, it's it's one of these. Angle. Uh, well, you, you might think it's side angle side because it's got it's got two sides and an angle, but the order matters. Is that angle between the two sides? Yeah. Looks like it. Okay. So this Wait, angle hold on. on the other, sides, yeah. And that's There's not... the the bottom one. So yeah, so this so it's not. It's it's gotta be between the two sides. So it's uh, nothing? Nothing, yeah. And you will see something like that on your tester quiz. What do you want from the class? Right, number One sec. Eight. Okay, that looks like side angle side. What angle are you seeing that's congruent? Wait, no, not a, no, sorry. Side, side, side. Okay, I agree. Because of that shared side. Yeah. Any questions on that? No. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I guess there are oh, nine. Nine is a proof. What about these other ones? Okay. We should do some of these other proofs before doing nine. No, I'm sorry. Nine is a, sorry, nine is a draw, drop down. Never mind. We'll do nine. All right. Explain what additional information of any you need to prove triangle ABC. That's the one on the left here is congruent to DEC by each postulate. So to prove side, 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 right now, you only have one side congruent to one side. Do you see that in the drawing? Yeah. You need all three sides for side, angle, side. So you need that AB is congruent to DE. And then you also need that BC is congruent to EC. So for, first you need that side, then you need this other side. So you actually need both of these. Uh, yeah. All right, now to do the second one, to do SAS, like saying SAS, um, you need the angle to be between the two sides. So the one that makes the most sense here in terms of the angle is the vertical angle. Say so that that angle is congruent to that angle. That's that's this one there. ACB is congruent to DC. So then we want the side that surrounds it to be congruent. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like it's got to be that one. Yeah, it's gonna be the the vertical. Okay. So that's the that's this one here. Any questions on that before we proceed? 
Oh. Okay. All right, we're going to question one, some sort of a proof. Proofs are the greatest, not. Okay. Uh, given W is the midpoint of PV, where does that go? Uh, the first, the given place. Yeah, first given W is the mid of PV. All right. And then the other given goes down here. Might as well throw that in there. We can tell because it says given on the right. Okay. Yeah. So what does it mean? What does it mean if W is the midpoint of TV? There's W, there's T to V. What does it mean if something is the midpoint right in the middle? Um, it's like a, a line. And there, there's a point in the middle. Yes. Um, what do you know about the the pieces? They're uh, equal. They're congruent. So we know that TW is congruent to W, WV. So TW is congruent to WV. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. All right. So, next one is vertical angles. Which vert? Which there's only one set of vertical angles in the drawing. What? What do you? What do you see? And can you give me those letter combinations? Uh, X. Uh, and the U. Uh, angles require uh, oh. three letters. Right. Um, T, W, X, and U, W, B. So you got to be really careful. T, T is starting at the single, kind of going down the single line. So T, W, X is good. I don't know what they give you. T, W, X, that's fine. But you have to start at the single over here on the other one. Go uh, down the single line. So it'd be V, W, U. The order matters. All right. Okay. So now we've proven that uh, we know that look. W is congruent to W U. We know that this angle is congruent to this angle. So why? Oh, sorry. I guess we. Definition of vertical angles. Okay. So uh, I messed up here. Four is not this. Uh, what I thought went in four is. Yeah, um, but what are the drop downs there for five? Like, why are these angles congruent? Should be definition of vertical angles. Or vertical angles are congruent? Yeah. Okay. So you're moving into this part of the course where, and it's, it depends on the instructor. So four is not what I wrote here. Four is just that... Um, these are vertical angles. It's like angle XWT, angle UWV is uh, vertical angles. Yeah. Or something. And then you have to add in the next next step that say, oh, they're they're actually congruent. All right. Okay. Now, why are the triangles congruent? What what have, what do you have here in the triangle to show that they're congruent? You're basically using that list we talked about earlier: SSS, SAS, ASA, angle, angle, side. Uh, 
uh, side angle sign. Old sass. Questions on that before we move on to another proof? Uh no. Okay. So we'll do uh we'll do twelve next. I guess. Yeah. All right. Given given triangle log is isosceles. That's the big one there. Log is isosceles. Okay, what does that mean to you if triangle log is isosceles? Well, that that is the given. So there's two things. Well, I guess I'm only using one of it. Um, when you have an isosceles triangle, there's two things you get. The same sides are congruent. Eight angles are congruent. And I guess I don't know which one goes in two because I don't know what they want you to use. Um, LN congruent to NG. That's definition of midpoint. They're using that. Side. Okay. So they probably want you to use that the, uh, the sides are congruent. LO is congruent to... Uh, to o o g is that one of the options there in the drop down? Uh, it's yeah. Okay. So they're watching sure that those are congruent. L o congruent to o g. Wait, that doesn't give you the angle. <laughs> is there another? Is that do they also give you the angle as an option? Uh, no, hold on. That's weird. All right, well, we're going to run out of, uh, so we're, we're going to have an issue here. Um, because we're only, ha we're going to have that this side is congruent. That's, that's number four. No. Oh, I guess we're going to use side, side, side. There it is. Okay. All right. It's okay. That what I said is, is correct. I couldn't look ahead to see the rest of it. So that's the other given. So why why does N being a midpoint lead to LN congruent to NG? Because the it separates the line equally if it's a midpoint. Yeah. Right. Um So that's definition of midpoint. Hopefully that's there. And then the reflexive is almost always the shared side. What did, what would that be? What is what do you have in the drop down there for that? Got it. Um... Segment O-N is congruent to segment N-O. 
Okay, that looks good. All right, so now why are the triangles congruent? Um. Um. What do you have in the drawing here? That's you know. Like... Uh, yeah. um, I think mine was the sandwich, and I could choose. So these are the options, right? Side, angle, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, Sorry. and angle, angle, side. Side. And those marks are along all of the sides. Yeah, so that's side, side, side. Yeah, it has to be side, side, side. Sorry, things keep happening around me, and it's like I got to. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll do the best we can here. Any questions on that before we uh, move on to the next one? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So we got a new drawing here. It says uh, OE OE is the perpendicular bisector. Of CR, so that means that this this drop down in the middle here, perpendicular bisector, you get two things out of it. You get right angles, and then you get that the sides are congruent. So COE ROE are right angled. That comes from it's always it's almost always the definition of the previous one. Like a angle bisector or something. Yeah, like definition of a of a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector, if that's an option there. Yeah, I got that. All right, then angle C O E is congruent to angle R O E. So those are saying the right angles are congruent. And that's something about how like all right angles are congruent. Is there something in there that says that? Uh, yeah. Okay, now the definition of the bisector, that's what cuts the two pieces in half and makes the two segments congruent. So what would go there? We've got it marked here on the drawing already, the, the segments. So uh, segment CO is congruent to segment RO. All right, and then uh, OE is congruent to itself. That's reflexive. And then why are the triangles congruent? What what do you see there? You know, that's that always that same old list. Uh it looks like HL. 
the hypotenuse leg. So the hypotenuse is actually up here in both of them and down here. We actually don't know the hypotenuse is congruent, even though uh, that seems like it would apply because it's the right triangle. Uh, it's like the exception to that. Um, so give me one other possibility here. It's not side, 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 because we don't have all three sides. So, I mean, I guess side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. All right. Good job there. Okay. So, um, let's see here. We do, unfortunately, have to stop there for, I know you've got maybe like one more proof to do there. Maybe not. Maybe we did get through everything. Um, so, all right. Let's go ahead and stop there. Stop the recording.